it is Manchester United, nil, Liverpool, three, Manchester United again, and spanked by Liverpool once again. How many times do I need to witness my team lose to Liverpool all the time? How many times? What a disgusting performance it was from these scumbag of our players, Manchester United. Yes, it's probably trending. Eric Ten Hag out right now because of that disastrous defeat and many other lousy performances. That midfield of us, for God's sake, why can't we win a midfield battle? It's been so long since I've seen my team win a midfield battle. These guys, these players, Casemiro, you scumbag. Casemiro has stressed the life out of us. We lost that game. We lost that game due to Casemiro's stupidness, his shenanigans. What an idiot. You lost the ball twice, and twice we conceded. It resulted in conceding goals. Luis Diaz as well, that Colombian sniffer. Puerto Rico sniffer. I can't believe this. What a... It is Sunday. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I ask for a victory, an early present for tomorrow on Monday. Can I wake up with Manchester United beating Liverpool? God, please do that. It will make it nice and sweet, Manchester United. Can you deliver that to me? Well, I don't know. Apparently not. They don't want me to have a nice birthday. They want me to suffer. They want you guys to suffer. Any of us right now are looking stupid. Manchester United are looking stupid. Eric Ten Hag himself is looking stupid. We are just waiting for Ruth Vanister to take over. For us people who are screaming out Eric Ten Hag out for a game of the season, it is not looking good. It's not looking good. Liverpool at home on a Sunday, Northwest Derby, and players did not turn up. Marcus Rashford did not turn up. Bruno Fernandes did not turn up. You are a fraud. Get me. I'm sorry, bro. You had to be put into that. And I told my manager last week, Brighton was the game that you, you put in the lip to start, you know, give him minutes in his leg. And look at that, you know, throw him into the baptism of fire, you know, straight in there, you know, against Liverpool. And guess what? We conceded the same goal that we conceded against Brighton last week. That last goal, we started the first goal we conceded. The amount of space that was left, you know, no one was reading the play. You know, beautiful dink as well. But guys, I am upset. I am furious. I'm frustrated just like you guys. I gotta calm myself down. Composure. But I am pissed. What kind of nonsense is that? Shit, man. What? Ah. No, 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 no. Let's get let's go straight into that game. Because the first 45 minutes, Casemiro, what a disaster. Disaster class. Casemiro has lost it. Bro, Ozimpic Casemiro looking like the Turkish kebab owner, with the one that butchers your kebab. Look at this guy, man. You are a fraud. Four-time Champions League winner. Nah, nah, get the hell out of my club. You cannot start the next game. Casemiro making mistakes, costing us goals in the first half, especially losing the ball in that first couple of minutes as well. Don't, but guys, remember that. We, we, we already conceded the goal, and it was given away offside. But Casemiro giving that ball away as well. For Liverpool to run into, into midfield. Grab them Birch. Finding Mohamed Salah. Salah to cross it. And beautiful cross. Luis Diaz with acres of space. And where was our defence? Criminal. Criminal for Diaz to header it in. And Manchester United to concede that goal. And it's 1-0 to Liverpool. And it already started. The midfield was vacant. Casemiro made it vacant. You know. People just run past through. Like Casemiro's like, hey you want a free shot in that midfield? Here's all these acres running to it because again, he gave the ball away for the second goal to concede again by, by Luis Diaz to make it 2 0. What a wonderful finish it was. Andre or Nana couldn't do shit. Couldn't do shit to save it. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't save us at all. Couldn't. Why, Casemiro? And rightly so. It was 2 0 half time. And to us, we were thinking. If you bring that Casimir on for a second of Ten Hag, you're a scrub. You, you deserve to just leave right now. Wait, dig a hole and put your head in there. Bury it really well as well. But he didn't. Casimir deserved it and taken off for the second of Collier. And nothing improved. M Liverpool in control throughout the second half. And then to score the third goal, Mohamed Salah just loved. You just saw love scoring against us, you know. Seven goals against us. Seven goals. He just loves it. He, he, he just eats it up. It's like drinking water to him. It's just natural. 
it is natural. Start breathing air. Me scrolling gets mentioned that it's natural, my friend. You know, running down the wings. That used to be Ryan Giggs tearing you down, running down the wing at you, bro. But now it's Mo Salah. Oh, Habibi. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. 3 0 Mohammed Salah. Manchester United 3 0 whitewash. It's just pathetic. Pathetic in terms of the way the manager even set up stuff. And that starting lineup was a, was what we wanted apart from Marcus Rashford starting. It was what we wanted. And then you could have disregarded a thing that could have been dealt with time ago. But he could have been starting midfield, but Casemiro was atrocious. But we never expected to lose like that. 3 0. No fight, no nothing. Let's talk about the players. Because the manager set this team up. And again, the midfield was empty. We lost the game again in midfield. Honestly. And, and just bad just mistakes by Casemiro. It should have been Liverpool free Casemiro on him. Player wise, the lit, I'm so sorry, guys. Let's rate these players. Manchester Lit coming on today for his full on debut as well. Put him in the back from his on fire. You know what? Yes, not your fault. You know, you're gonna do better, you know. So especially when he got into the it, challenge as well. He did want to win his challenge. Cat say Miro the scrub himself, you fucking joke, man. You dickhead, bro. Look at you. El Zimpic Casemiro Kebab shot up, bro. You know, like the guy who sold kebab. Look at you. Look at you. All you need is an apron on, and you look like you fit like the guy that sells Turkish kebab. You broke down twice. Your mistakes cost us. You cost us everything. Look at you, you joke, man. Casemiro, I don't want to see you no more starting. There's no way Casemiro can start. The ability is he's, he's just losing it. Rashford, again, all the time. I've said it before. Rashford shouldn't be starting for Manchester United anymore. It's about time the manager wakes up. You better wake up and start dropping Mark Rashford. Because another stinker against Liverpool. Yeah, he scores in the big games. Not today. It's not today. Bruno Fernandes missing again. Where is Bruno in the big games? Where is he? Never shows himself. Never does. Kobe Manu, I feel sorry for you, my friend. I, I, I feel sorry for you. You have to do it all on your own in that midfield. No help at all. No help. No aid. He's like saying, send some aid in that. It's like it's a battle. It's a battle of the Northwest. And we can't get aid. He can't get it. Get on that, Joe. Think as well. Lost every battle. Lost every take on. Just like his friend Marcus Rashford. It is a joke. God save us, man. Man of the match today, guys, has to go to you guys. You know how hard it is to get up today, you know? Yeah, I big up you guys who got up, brushed their teeth, had breakfast, even had some lunch. To just sit there, turn on the TV and put it on Sky Sports or uh, whatever, DSTV, Super Sport, um, um, being sport, whichever out sport outlet you use, turn that on, especially if you're rushing in the States as well. To get up, just to pull on that channel is hard enough itself. But to watch us and sit back and lose that damn man of the match to them fans. Man of the match to us. Donkey of the match, Casemiro, you scrub. You make me sick, man. I've had enough. Guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivo and Spice. Oh, I'm so glad I'm, I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm glad it's international break, but no, no catch up tomorrow. It's my birthday. Imagine I couldn't give us anything, but it's my birthday. I can cry when I want to cry when I want to. Oh, will Manchester United ever fix up, guys? You guys let me know. Smash that like button. Subscribe, share across all social media platforms. Let me know your man of the matches, your donkey of the matches, your thoughts in the comments. Till next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> we suck. <laughs>